themselves. there, David here with Electric. Today I have a 21 window VW microbus. So let's take it out for a spin before it heads back to the client. This is Volkswagen's 1967 microbus. Uh, I think they just called it a station wagon or a transporter. We've always simply referred to it as the bus uh, or microbus. Uh, some people call them minibuses. It really doesn't matter. They're loved by so many people. The red and white is like the quintessential microbus, hippie bus, whatever you want to call it. Once you start driving one of these, you're just going to make loads of new friends. Nice van, dude. Such a good vibe car. Um, uh, just really loved having it here at the shop. And uh, this one's from Martha's Vineyard. It came all the way across the country. The owner shipped it here to make it electric. Like all of our cars, it looks completely like a stock Volkswagen microbus until you lift up the deck lid and there's our 85 horsepower motor. This is the same motor that we put in the Beetles and it really scoots right along. We can get this up to 70 miles an hour, no problem, but honestly that's about as fast as I want to drive this. It's a big bread box on wheels. We've really streamlined the motor bay. All you're seeing here is the motor, the battery charger, and uh, part of the cooling system for the controller that is on top of the motor. And to keep it running at peak performance, we do use a small cooling system. Underneath the bus, we have an air-cooled finned radiator. The cooling uh, coolant runs through that, runs through the controller, and keeps everything working at peak performance. There's not much going on on the dash. It's really minimalistic, and uh, that's kind of the wonderfulness of it. Very simple. Our client opted for no radio here, but uh, in most of our builds, we do add them. We replace the traditional fuel gauge with uh, an electric battery meter, so you can still figure out what your range is going to be. And then there is a little switch under the dash. It'll spin the motor backwards, so you can actually go in reverse in a forward gear. So you don't need to shift out of second or third. You flip the switch, you go backwards really easy. And for the most part, you can drive around town in uh, second or third gear. I pretty much just leave it in third. Um, fourth is really just for the uh, for the highways. In the future, we're going to start using a two-speed transmission and uh, have even less shifting. First is really only necessary if you're on a super steep driveway or something like that. Then you put it in first. The range in this build is about 60, 70 miles. And, um, you know, we're just starting to use Tesla batteries in uh, our builds, so uh, future buses are going to go further. A lot more room for uh, more batteries in the bus. And then, of course, the uh, front windshield windows just flip right open. The Safari windows uh, give you all the AC that you need. Just better keep your mouth shut and maybe wear some goggles. Keeping with our super stealthy mode, the uh, charge port is where the fuel filler was. When this bus came in, it did need a few repairs, and um, we handled them. There was some paint work, some body work that needed to be done. The roof was kind of a mess. We completely replaced it with a new cover and bows. We also replaced the transmission. This one has uh, a later year IRS uh, rear end, so it rides a little bit smoother than a stock. And we also upgraded the front brakes to discs. In the bus, we're hiding the batteries right in plain sight. The middle seat is our battery box. So that shifts a lot of the way to the center of the bus and really helps smooth out the ride. We also replaced the steering box. It drives much uh, smoother now. The, uh, the interior was upgraded. We replaced a number of panels that had become warped. 
And uh, let's see, what else did we do on this? Uh, as always, we add LED lights, including the headlights, uh, upgraded the white wall radials to the uh, Diamondback radials. We love them. And uh, just a, a lot of little odds and ends that I'm not going to get into here. But this car is electric now. It needs to uh, look as good as it runs. And there you go. That's it. An electric Volkswagen microbus. This is actually our second bus, our first bus. We've been taking it to shows for a couple of years now. Um, it's won awards, uh, one for a design at the Steve McQueen show up in L.A. Uh, we have another one in the shop, and we have a few more scheduled for next year. The whole electric bus idea is really what started as electric. It's something that I've wanted to do for over 10 years. Um, I know VW has plans for the bus, but uh, I didn't feel like waiting. And of course, like many people, we love the uh, original design of the bus and really didn't want to change that. Just wanted to have the best of both worlds. A vintage, lovable bus, but with the dependability and um, ease of driving with uh, the electric motor. <coughs> Thanks a lot for watching this far. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You can email me, david at zelectric.com. And uh, check our Twitter and our Facebook and all those things and uh, stay up to date. We're probably most active and most interesting, I think, on Instagram. So check that out. It's really a lot of fun. Zero to 60, this time starting off in third gear. And I'm going to shift up to fourth this time. I forgot. So putting my foot down. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, shifting to fourth, 45, 50, 55, 